Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me at this time. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this is your fairy oracle reading for January going into February or thereabouts. The universal timing is um, fluid um, and it's not fixed. So, but round about that time. Um, I've pre-shuffled the fairy oracle cards for you. Sagittarius, so I'll just do a final shuffle now. It is a general reading, so um, it won't resonate with everybody, um, but it certainly will with, with some of you, uh, to a greater or a lesser degree. Um, right, so final shuffle. I'll see what the fairy realm wants to say to you at this time. So we have your current situation or energy or, or a combination of both. The challenge to that for you. Um, what's in your power times two. And then um, a possible outcome. If um, thought of any guidance um, is acknowledged or um, taken on board within the reading. And then there's something else here that the um, energies would like to say to you. And it may not... Be connected to the rest of the reading or, or it may be so we'll see all right in the bottom of the reading bottom of the deck sorry we have the fawn um, and this is about natural energy so there's a natural energy um, either flowing through you now um, or is going to be flowing through you this is um, um, when think when you're in your groove if you like when when the synchronicities abound around you and you're in the flow and so not fighting the flow, going with the flow, it's, it's quite a magical energy and we all know when we're in that energy, when things just are so easy, just flowing, um, just going in the right direction for us. So this is either around you at this time, Sagittarius, or it's, it's definitely coming in for you. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side at the moment. I will get some clarifying cards in a minute, but let's just quickly have a look at um, what the cards on the table are saying. So at the heart of the reading, we have the friends. And this is about the importance of our friends, community, um, family, perhaps, for some of us, for some of you. Um, and this is when we're on the same page as others. The same values, same perspective, same outlook, same going in the same direction. Having complete trust. Um, if, if I say people having your back and you having their back, it's that, that complete trust going forward. Um, so I'll just, I will get clarifies for these in a moment. But the challenge is, um, and there is the alchemist. Um, there is, there is, um, there's a change happening within you, Sagittarius. Um, there's an inner change. It's uh, that's why she's called the alchemist. There's there's an alchemy, al an alchemic, um, if that's a word, um, change happening within you, um, and it's changing you. It's changing you, and, and you your 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 probably outlook, your the way you feel about things. Um, the way you know you're going, it's all, it's changing. And you can see um, Neris is looking, she's shining her light and going, looking forward. Um, she's mindful of where she's been, she's mindful of the past. But things are changing to such a degree that that she's just going forward now in, in, in one direction. She won't look back. Um, and it's a very it's a very transformative energy but this is a challenge for you at the moment these changes that are in place um is quite a challenge for you at the moment for some of you sagittarius and it may well be something to do with friendships um colleagues acquaintances um groups that we belong to whatever that means for you because you know if you are changing if you've got an inner change happening then that can impact on others around us, can't it? So let's see. So in your power at the moment, we have the Bright Mother. And the Bright Mother is very much um, a nurturing feminine energy, um, productive, fertile energy. Um, she often does put others before herself because she cares for others. So this is part of 
your energy is Sagittarius and we will get to clarify for this um, and that's in your power at the moment um, and then a, an, another an, um, powerful energy for you at the moment is uh, the Pipers um, and this is about um, bringing harmony creating harmony it could be internal harmony um, that's building up within you um, or external you creating a harmonious environment around um, or it could be a combination of the two as you're changing going forward um, with your nurturing caring energies you may be feeling more harmonious and and that will help your environment to become more harmonious also for some of you it's about playing music listening to music um, playing music perhaps that that creates that beautiful harmonious and so and it's about balance as well creating a a balanced environment and feeling balanced within yourself and then a possible outcome here we have Joe the slow um, and this is when things slow down things are, uh, are becoming slow but Joe the slow is quite happy with that he's nestled in the ivy and he's happy to watch the world go by so for some of you um, there's going in the outcome position at this time or the time of the for the for the reading um, things sort of slowed uh, slowing down a bit so you're nestling down um, and taking things easy um, watching events go by and I think a lot of us can f em empathize empathize with this um, because of the current COVID situation with lockdown and restrictions and we can do no other can we than um, nestle into the ivy and watch the world go by but I will get to clarify for you and then something else that the energies want to say to you we've got Penelope Dreamweaver um, and this is about acknowledging you know what are our dreams what are our wishes what is it we're hoping for um, looking out for signs and synchronicities a sparks of interest if you like to, to show us the way forward to fulfill that which we are hoping for and dreaming dreaming of okay so um, I'll just put the fawn which was about the um, natural energy in the flow being in the flow I'll put that to one side uh, but now I'm going to do a final shuffle now to get some clarifying cards out for you Sagittarius could we clarify the cards on the table please Clarify the cards on the table, please. At the bottom of the deck now, we have Lace Moon's daughter. Um, and Lace Moon's daughter sheds light on situations. She shines the way. It's a little bit like the little bit like the Moon card, um, but 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 without the um, psychic energy, without the um, the other um, symbolisms of of the Moon in Tarot, um, which can be about things in the shadows, etc. But Lace Moon's daughter is very much about shining the way, lighting up the dark lighting up the way forward seeing being be more clear about going forward and i feel you know if we if we look at that with the fawn when things are, are starting to flow for you then you can see how these two um can go together so i'll just put those two to one side um i have got gocha underneath laced moon's daughter so for some of you, a light is being shone on something that's a little bit alarming. There's a bit of a um, something that perhaps you don't want to look at um, happening or coming in. Something you don't want to face that's perhaps a bit of a shock um, or uh, a little bit unpleasant. You may be aware of it or not. For some of you, you are aware of it because that's why your eyes are half... You've got one eye covered and the other one you're just peeping through your fingers there. So there's something you're not want to not wanting to look at or face up to at the moment. And that perhaps is what light is going to be shed on. Um, something's going to be revealed. Um, but you're not 
perhaps ready for some of you. Um, okay. And the singer of the chalice underneath, Gocha, is being open to the beautiful healing energies that want to come down for you. Pos positivity, optimism, joy, happiness um, are all waiting in the wings for you. Sagittarius, whatever this is. So I'll just put Lace Moon's daughter next to the fawn. Remember, things are flowing now. You're in the groove. Things are flowing well. So at the heart of the reading, we had the Friends card. Um, being on the same page as others, trust, having trust, going forward, um, supporting each other. Um, and then fairies of the future. So, you know, planning to go forward, making plans going forward now. Um, yes, being mindful of the past, but not being tied down by the past, not being um, held back by what's happened, what's gone, um, along with um, friends who are on the same page as us, looking to the future, making plans going forward. Um, lots of promise in this card. Let go of what's gone, let it go. And, and just look to the future now and make plans going forward with, with like-minded um, friends, family, colleagues, etc. All right, so that's Louis. So that's at the heart of your reading. The challenge, as we saw, was um, the internal changes that are happening um, within you, mainly transformation energies happening within you. That These are the challenges. Um, and it's very much about your emotions. We've got um, Tahara of the Waters, uh, which is about emotions. So it's, it's, we're very much, it's about being in control of your emotions through... Um, uh, through some, something, through this change that's happening. Um, being in control of how you react. Because our emotions can, can press our triggers, can't we? Can be, become triggered with our emotions. So when we see a situation or aware of a situation, um, you know, we, we, we can em respond emotionally or we can step back. Um, and, and respond in a more rational way. All right, so emotions can be very positive. They can be very, uh, our friend, they can help us and guide us. We can have joyful emotions, happy, peaceful, healing emotions. But you can also have the flip side of that is, 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 is anger, um, jealousy, um, um, yes, uh, dissatisfaction, you know, um, unhappiness so those sorts of energies so you know as these are the challenges for you as change is happening um, as things are changing and you're as you're for going forward then um, being in charge and in control of how you respond emotionally is, is, is a challenge it's going to be a challenge for you so in your power position we had um, the bright mother which is about the nurturing feminine principle um, looking after others, putting others before ourselves for, in some situations. But obviously not forgetting yourself. You must always look after and nurture yourself, also Sagittarius. But probably at this time, um, you are having to look after others. Um, and then, oi, that gnome. So this is there's a, some form of a chaotic situation happening around you. Um, but all that gnome does, when he comes forward, he does bring opportunities. So there are opportunities to be found within whatever this chaotic situation or difficult situation is that's happening um, around you. Um, that, you know, is drawing on your bright mother energies. Um, and that's perhaps the opportunity, is the opportunity to draw on your... Um, bright mother energy you know your caring and nurturing energy um it's perhaps you know sparking something because the bright mother is is very fertile and creative so this could be a time of the opportunity for you could be about um able to um tap into your creative energies with whatever this um chaos that has been brought into your life is about And the other, um, in your power position, we've got the Piper, which 
we talked about, which is about harmony, creating harmony within yourself and around you, um, creating a calm and peaceful environment. Um, and the journeyman, so, you know, as you go forward, step forward, taking the first steps forward on your on the new journey, on a new pathway going forward, feeling more at harmony um, within yourself. And it could be that um, music, making music, listening to music helps you, helps some of you um, to, to achieve this harmony. Um, as you step forward going on this new journey where you perhaps don't fully know where the where you're going to end up um, but it's a journey nevertheless and we have to take those first steps don't we and then in the outcome position we had geo the slow so everything slowed down everything slowed down just watching the world go by and um, epona's wild daughter um, so at this time of things slowing down a time of facing the past facing traumas from the past perhaps what's in the shadows what what is it that needs facing what is it that needs facing um, and bringing your um, intellect your wisdom to to this situation rather than your emotions so you know don't allow your emotions to to dictate and guide this situation um, use your use your intellect um, Think, think, thinking about it rather than it being emotionally driven, um, but but definitely having to face something, something um, that's in the shadows, ready for, ready to deal with it before you can go forward um, as the journeyman. And then the other thing that the energies wanted to say to you was about. What is it you're dreaming of? What is it you're wishing for? You know, how can you manifest and and, and help for your dreams to come true? Um, and we have the She of the Crow Ash, which is, again, it's very much the feminine principle, this is. Very similar to um, the Bright Mother, but a little bit different for what it wants to say and, and the position it's in. Um, so it's the feminine principle. This is about um, receiving um, and, and giving, um, nurturing. It's a nurturing energy. It's fertile energy, um, creative energy. It's a very caring, loving and healing energy also. So, you know, being open to receive these sorts of energies coming down for you and also coming up from the earth energy. But she of the crow ash... Um, is a clarifier for Penelope Dreamweaver. So, um, whatever, it, whatever it is you are dreaming of, wishing for, hoping to manifest, um, then she of the crow ash is there to help with that. Because, as I say, she is she of the crow ash is a very feminine, nurturing, creative energy, and so this energy is going to be around for you to draw on um, as you are um, dreaming and wishing and thinking about what, what it is you would like for the future going forward. What is it you want to put into place? Sagittarius, what is it, in, what is it that you are really hoping for? All right. And the She of the Crow Ash is, is bringing that energy in for you. It's going to assist you on your way, going to assist you as you go forward with, with more harmony in your life and around you. So lots of positive energies coming in for you, Sagittarius. All right, I'm just going to get, um, could we have two more messages please for Sagittarius? to round this reading up. Can we have two more messages, please, for Sagittarius? Um, 
these are from the Earth Spirit Oracle cards. And we have the Green Man, so synergy. This is when um, things all come together, dis individual elements come together to create um, a whole, you know, synchronicity. Beautiful. Synchronicity, um, harmony. We've already had the, the harmony card, so sort of harmony coming in. And it, this could be about, I mean, it's the green man, so this could be about getting back to your natural state, you know, to who you really are, um, being at one with nature. And then the clouds shape shifting, so things changing. So things changing um, within you and around you, Sagittarius. Um, and this is about um, adjusting as well, shape shifting. So whatever the situation you find yourself in, you are well able to adjust and, and change to suit that situation at that time before moving on perhaps to another situation so you find yourself at the moment having to adjust and and change your shape whatever that means for you sagittarius right synergy synchronicity blending All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful reading for you. It, they're very different, aren't they? These The fairy, fairy readings are very, very different to your ordinary tarot readings, but so beautiful nonetheless. And they come from a different realm and they come, and a, and they come from a different level. So um, beautiful. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. Um, good luck going forward, and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.